Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to create an image similar to this where we we have a texture that we um, are going to map to a plane and give it some depth so that you can tell that it's um, three-dimensional and to, to make it look a little more realistic than just putting a picture on a paper pretty much. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to get rid of this cube and I'm also I'm going to turn on screencast keys and I'm just going to hit uh, shift A add mesh plane and just make it big and this is going to be the base of our whole thing right here um, that ultimately what we're going to do is we're going to create the texture on this so um, I'm going to split this up uh, like this and I'm going to put this into uh, the node editor on the bottom and I'm going to just give it a new texture. Make sure you're in cycles render when you do this and I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to hit shift A and I am going to um, add an image and I'm going to open the image and I'm going to put it right into the diffuse and then I turn on the material and you can see it looks pretty stupid. It didn't look right. That's because when you hit tab and when you hit U and unwrap it. And boom. We now have a texture on the thing. That's, I guess, simply how you um, unwrap something. But we're going to do a lot more. We're going to, um, now we're going to add displacement and a specular map and all these different things may sound really confusing. But. Um, I'm going to include a link to the description of where you can get uh, this thing called the normal map generator. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Um, but this normal map generator, we can open up any kind of image and we can, so let's go ahead and pull this image in here into this program. Um, we can go into the normal map and it'll show us like more detailed stuff or a specular map or displacement. All these different things. What this is going to do is this is going to output this picture. So I, pretty much we're saving this picture and in this program it's created to be able to give us the right output. So all we need to do is you can tell if you look at this it looks a little bit like weird to me but if we hit invert height it makes it look like it's facing the right direction um, something else that we can do if you want you can get more detail by lowering this radius in the displacement and so I guess to explain a little bit the no uh, the displacement map it's what's going to actually move the object, the vertices up and down in what we're about to create. And so this right here, uh, you can leave everything about the same. You don't have to touch any of the settings and we're just going to hit save maps. And you're going to save the maps to somewhere that you won't forget and just hit save. And then it'll save all three. Make sure that these are checked. Normal map, specular map, and displacement map as you do that. And then you can go ahead and if you want to you can close it down or just minimize it for now and now you're going to go back into blender and hit shift a add and we're going to do another image and you're going to want three of these now image image now you're probably going to wonder like why so many and I'll tell you why so I'm going to make this a little bit bigger here so this is the normal texture this is the actual object this let's go ahead and open one of them so if we go in here um, let's make this in displacement so just so that because they're all named image texture just go over here I'm going to name this in displacement just so that we can tell what they are and I'm going to name this one let's do this one to be Uh, the normal 
and so we just name it normal and this will be the specular so displacement is going to be the depth specular is like the shininess of like where things should have shine and so that program that we just had that we just closed a second ago this program can detect where all those different things should be and it puts that onto three different uh, pictures and so now what we need to do is we can just start uh, connecting the dots so this normal we can connect into the normal here into the diffuse and I'm gonna turn this on to rendered so you can kinda see what each of these things do does so the normal I'm gonna put the displacement into the displacement and this one you're not gonna really do too much with it just yet um, mainly because we need to um, create some more notes for it but I'm gonna stretch this out a little bit make it organized a little bit okay so now um, we need to also add a UV map and so we've already UV mapped this we just hit U when we went to edit mode we hit U and unwrapped the plane but now we just need to connect the dots and select UV map and connect it to the vectors here so that it knows what how to place each of like where to place the displacement um, texture and so we connected all of those now let's go ahead and create shift A and we're gonna uh, create the glossy BSDF and now what we're gonna do with it is we're gonna connect um, the this one the specular we can name it specular I forgot to name it that but we're gonna connect the specular into uh, the glossy into the the roughness and we're going to um, end up putting this into a mix we want to mix the diffuse and the glossy together so we're just gonna combine those and you can see it doesn't look right yet and all we have to do is now drag the specular into the factor up here again and it looks normal and so a little bit of what this does is let's I'm gonna split my screen one more time again and get rid of that make this maybe a little bit smaller zoom in so you can't really tell too much mainly because this lamp um, sucks <laughs> Um, so I'm going to delete it. I'm just going to hit Shift A, add plane, and I'm going to go into the Materials tab, add new, and I'm going to put it in emission, and I'm going to put this on like 25, just something big. And I'm going to rotate it up, give it some color, and boom! You can see. I'm just going to leave it like that because that actually looks perfect. So what happens is because of this light that we just created, it knows because of the mapping that we just did where to add the shine so if we go back we right click on this and we just say we get rid of this and we get rid of this it looks completely flat it's just a picture on a plane but if we connect the dots in both there and there it knows exactly where that shine should be on the object it can say okay this is this is an edge and this isn't an edge and it, because of the colors that the program that we just used um, it can be able to tell that so I think we're actually pretty much good here um, yeah so let's continue on there's one last thing that we're gonna do and now what this does is it we're gonna take the same um, picture that we just used for the displacement and we're gonna add real time depth to this plane. So if we go into the modifier tab, um, let's create a subdivision surface modifier and take off, uh, put it on simple. And I'm going to use the uh, open subdiv, sub, open sub, div, yes, open subdiv. Now what that does is 
it's going to let me use my graphics card. It just makes it a little bit faster. If you don't have one of this, then you probably don't want to increase your subdivisions as high as I do. But I'm going to increase mine to all the way up to 6, which is the max. I don't think it'll let you go any higher. Oh, never mind. It will let you go higher. And I think I just froze the program. Oh, nope. Anyway, I'm just going to leave mine at 6, but you can't go higher if you type it in. I didn't know that. There we go. I learned something new every day. Um, do the same here as well. And now what that did was it was just created um, vertices inside of this. So if I were to go in here, oh, you can't actually see it unless we apply it. There's a lot of them there. I'm just going to undo that because I don't want it there. I want to be able to edit it a little bit later. But now I'm going to add modifier and do a displacement modifier. And we're going to go in here and add, I'm going to go in here and add a new texture. So if you, I just went a little bit quick, but let me do that again. So displacement, and I added this little, I clicked on show texture in the texture tab. And so I, I'll do it again. And so I just, and I hit new, but I, because I went back, I just selected the texture that I just created. And I'm going to click on this because we already loaded the texture in. We've got to select it again, so I'm going to hit this place. And you can see, holy cow, it messed it up, messed up our, our thing here. So I'm going to go back to the modifier tab, and it's because this is way too high. Um, you can probably do like even less than 0 0.1. 0 0.1 gives us a little bit of depth. It would work out really good. Um, depending on how many vertices you have from this subdivision surface um, is how much strength you can actually use. Because we don't have very much, very many points, you can see it's a little bit blocky. Well, you can fix a little bit of this by hitting T and going in and making it smooth. Um, you can make flat and smooth have a little bit different looks. Um, another thing is, is you can always increase your subdivision. So I'm gonna try seven, see what happens. Maybe even eight. And you can tell. I'm gonna move around up here a little bit. You can tell that it actually created depth to the object just from the picture. So it's really cool, really useful if you're trying to make something um, as realistic as possible. Uh, this is probably one of the best ways. You can't really make it too much more realistic than um, a, phot a photograph. And so, um, obviously, the bigger, better computer you have, the higher um, subdivisions you can use. Um, if not, you can just increase this to maybe something like that. That looks, it actually looks pretty realistic. I'm not gonna lie. So, I'm also gonna go and add a modifier, and I'm gonna hit an array just to make it. Um, I'm gonna add two arrays. One to go, one array to go this way, and one array to go this way. So I'm going to do is go uh, zero and go negative one, I think. Oh, my bad. One. So I just created that to ultimately be able to go like this. So now, because of what we just did, um, we have a super realistic uh, texture for the ground, material for the ground. From a t simple image texture, we can be able to see um, what this is supposed to look like. And I hope that you've learned something from this tutorial. Um, I know uh, in the creation of it, I have. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, you can post in the comments. I'll try and respond. And um, hope that you have a, a wonderful day. Bye-bye.